Hey guys, welcome back to another Thomas Wooden Railway review. Now, over three years ago, back in my YouTube infancy, I posted a video on many of my rare Thomas Wooden Railway items that I had in my collection at that time. Well, today I wanted to circle back on an earlier review of mine and recap a little history on the 22-piece starter set. A lot of people don't realize that the 22-piece starter set was one of the first, if not the first known Thomas Wooden Railway product to ever exist on the market. So this baby pretty much paved the way for the Thomas Wooden Railway that we all know and love today. In fact, contrary to what many people believe, Learning Curve or Brio for that fact were not the first companies to release the Thomas Wooden Railway line. In 1992, Early Learning Center, a well-known toy company in the UK at the time, produced wooden Thomas trains in the United States. As the toys were made in the US, the production cost ended up being very high and the trains ended up being sold at very high prices. For example, this 22-piece starter set was originally sold for 70 US dollars at the time as compared to an estimated 50 dollars it would have cost if it were made in China. The UK-based company had its US office at 40 Peppers Farm Road, Milford, Connecticut. It's also been said that the 22-piece starter set, at least the version I have pictured in this video with the first edition special engine shed, was only available as a mail-in order only, making it even more difficult to find on the open market today. The set originally included Thomas, a gray troublesome truck, Sir Topham Hat, a driver, three pine trees, two railroad crossing signs, a rare first version special engine shed, and various wooden track pieces equivalent to that of Brio. It's also interesting to note that in the original model Railroader magazine mail-in order ad, and as well as the back of the box, Thomas and the Troublesome Trucks prototypes have red Brio-like wheels, and the special engine shed seems to have a brick facade on the sides instead of the standard windows. This set would later be retitled by Learning Curve as the Instant System Set Number 2, and they go on to make a few more changes to this release until it was officially retitled in 1997. But for me, this set sits on my shelf and serves as a glimpse into the past of what used to be and what was to come. Thanks for watching.